my sea trip from this past weekend. Uh, we were shooting an episode of Breaking Bobby Bones. We only have one left, by the way, this weekend, and I'm done with the whole season. Crazy. 16 episodes done. And I am physically, like, tired just from being beat up so much through these episodes. But I uh, was in the in the, the bay in San Francisco. We would get on this boat, and it was a fishing boat, not a deep-sea fishing boat where you, you get your fancy poles and you throw it out there. This is one that drags <laughs> a net on the bottom of the ocean. It's like when you see these, these shows where they're, you know, throwing a net out, trying to get shrimp. Or, I mean, that's what we did. And so you have to th- – it's not safe putting the net out there. You're putting all this metal stuff in the water to spread the net and hold it on the bottom of the ocean floor. And I got so seasick. I was sick for almost two days straight. And when you're no- extremely nauseous, as you know just from being nauseous, you, you're n- you don't function the same. You don't think the same because you're so sick. We got on the first day, and the water was pretty calm. I've never even been to San Francisco. And so we land, and we're going out, and I'm – looking at Alcatraz, we're right by Alcatraz, and I'm like, this is so cool. And I'm under the Golden Gate Bridge, and I'm like, this is so cool. But what I wasn't doing was paying attention to the boat balancing up and down. I wasn't ready. And so we start shooting, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel good. And we're down working on a net because you got to tie knots in the bottom of the net. So when it fills with fish, you pull the knots, and they all release onto the boat later on. And I go, I don't feel good. Cameras are on. <gasps> oh. Vomited. Oh. Every, everywhere, all <laughs> over the boat. <laughs> And then I just couldn't stop. It was just one after, and it was so violent in, in my lungs and in my belly. Oh, it was everywhere. And so I had taken everything. And I was listening to people on Twitter and Instagram. Why don't you take Dramamine, you idiot? Oh, I did. I had, a, I had on bracelets. I had on a bracelet like a garter belt. I had on my legs. <laughs> I had, I, I, if you could take it, I had it. I tried everything. Didn't work? No, but I get so motion sick in a car I get so motion sick, sometimes in an elevator, that it was just bound to happen. But for two days, I was fighting, vomiting, at least once an hour. I figured out what was best for me was laying on the very bottom of the boat, where my back and head were on the boat, and when the boat would rock hard, because we had some hard waves, it, I just pictured I was a baby being rocked. Oh. And there was no way when I was a baby getting rocked, I was getting motion sick. <laughs> not for me. The ocean's not for me. Just... Oh, it, it felt like I had been riding in the back seat of a car, down a dirt road, reading a book. Oh yeah, for three hours. It was bad that sounds news. Awful. It was bad news. Oh. But it was still extremely cool because I've never. I grew up fishing a lot, but I'd never done anything like this. A little different, huh? Yeah, and you pull the net up, and you you the net is raised up over the boat. You pull it, and all it all drops into the the, the back of the boat. And it's a ton of jellyfish. It's a ton of stingrays. It's a ton of crab. And we take everything that we weren't supposed to catch, which was the halibut, and throw it back over the boat or push it back through the side because there's a hole for that to happen. Uh, And then we keep all the halibut. And the goal was to catch in one day 500 pounds. And? Uh, Well, I'm not going to tell you here. (laughs) You have to watch the show. That's the whole purpose of the show. I don't know what order it's going to run, but the guy that was the fisherman that I was with, just a fantastic guy, lives in his boat basically. His family lives four hours away. He goes home like once a month for three days and is back on the boat. Oh, man. It's a hard life. So I take it these men that work out there, they just don't get seasick? Well, he said he did for the first years of his life because his dad was a fisherman, his grandfather was a fisherman, but he doesn't anymore. Hmm. It took me probably until this morning to not feel like I was rocking while sleeping. Oh, Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I used to go to Schlitterbahn for like two hours and I would get home and still feel like I was like on a tube. Mm. (laughs) So I can imagine two days. It was brutal, but it was, now that it's over, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Because when am I going to get to do stuff like that? Dangerous. There were even some real dangerous moments for me being out there because you can easily go over those swells, which are, I did those are waves. Mm -hmm. Because I would be like, look at the wave. It's called a swell when you're on the ocean. They were 30 and 40 feet high coming at us. And it was not a massive boat we were on. It was just a a fishing boat, like a one big enough to hold a net. But if you go to my Instagram, you can see the boat. And I posted a picture over the weekend. I I just wanted to be home. I wanted to be back on on land. And I was like, I miss my woman, my dogs, and Sonic. And also Eddie. A little (laughs) honorable mention. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. (laughs) But it's rough. Uh, Yesterday was just a different kind of day, so I didn't bring it up then. But I think, who knows, once all editing is done, I think it'll be a really cool episode. But, you know, for a guy that grew up in a small town in Arkansas, I never saw the ocean until my 20s. But to go out on a fishing boat like that was really cool. I never want to do it again, but it was really cool 
that time to do it. And I think it's going to make for a fantastic episode. And it's a hard life they live. They can go out, and the ocean's so unpredictable. Those guys can go out and feel like they know where it is. We drove three hours just to get to where we were trying to fish. So I would just lay in the bottom of the boat, trying to vomit for that long. Mm. They can go that far. Sometimes they go seven, eight, ten hours, and then catch out? nothing. Yeah, oh. out and catch nothing. Have you ever seen the perfect storm? No, oh, that's people a good kept one. asking me that, and I was like, no. Oh, and they were should, like, oh, you should. You should. And I was like, tonight. They're like, nope, not tonight. <laughs> yeah, definitely not tonight. <laughs> but that's what's making me like. I'm picturing uh, what's his name, Mark Wahlberg. You right now is t- being the, like him. <laughs> those big waves would hit the boat. Swells. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Swells. Those yeah. big swells would hit the boat. Boom! Over the side of it. And if you weren't ready, it could knock you over the boat. Like, it, it could just force you because they were so big all the way off the side of the boat. But it was it was crazy. Obviously, I'm back here. I'm alive. I was here yesterday. So there's, you know, no real drama <laughs> Obviously, there. Obviously, you're good. But I have one more this weekend. We, we go back to California. And then that's a wrap. If I, just like, I have to learn how to tie knots before now and this weekend. I'm doing extreme extreme tree trimming oh. the very top of those california Ooh, trees that's crazy where we got to go up basically like a version of a deer stand but with spikes on our feet and trim the top of trees dang dude i know so i have to learn how to tie specialty knots this week and then land there and know how to do it <sighs> what are you, is someone's training you or are you just getting on youtube no, no. <laughs> on the knots i'm doing it myself I'm, I'm, you, literally youtube okay well i mean we need to run it by a professional they're make on, sure that they're it's on like yeah. good to go it's about emotion. Hey.